Yeah, I guess the um, main focus of today was just getting the boys to have a run and blow out a few cobwebs after a long, long trip from Brisbane. Um, there's a we started out with some steady state running, um, then shifted to some skill based work with uh, the new coach and and his assistants, and then back down for some higher intensity um, shuttle based work. Uh, from there, we went and um, did some leg weights, some lighter lighter leg weights than we we will do in the upcoming days and weeks. Um, again, just to get the boys moving and, and ready for the the rest of the camp to come. Uh, from there we threw them in the pool and just did a, a light recovery session, uh, a bit of a stretch and just pre prepare them for the big day tomorrow. Yeah, I guess it's sort of two prong. Um, all the literature says that once you arrive in, in altitude, you need to obviously take it easy for the first couple of days. So can't stress the boys too much. And then that's coupled with the long flight. And uh, we had to fly to Vegas with such a big group this year and, and a longer bus ride up the mountain. So yeah, it definitely took its toll. And combining that with the first day at altitude, we had to look after the boys and, and take it pretty easy to begin with. But uh, that'll start to build now over the next couple of days and weeks. Yeah, the physical side of the recovery process stays pretty similar. I guess the biggest change comes from their nutrition. Uh, their energy requirements go up about 25% in the first week. Um, so we encourage the boys to still obviously eat good, clean um, calories, but uh, just increase their intake for the first seven days. After that, it seems to plateau out and uh, they go back to a normal sort of eating phase. But I guess they're in a high training phase too, so we encourage um, uh, an increased uh, caloric intake just because of that as well. Yeah, the next, uh, the next day we will uh, hike Mount Humphreys. Uh, we'll at least get to the saddle at about 3,500 metres. Um, if the weather permits, we'll attempt to reach the summit at about 4,000 metres. Um, I guess we, we do that early in the camp to try and evoke a, an EPO spike and, and really get the guys to acclimatise to the altitude as soon as possible. So we give them that really high exposure early and then uh, they'll then roll into a complete day off. So I guess coming off, like I said, the big travel and, and, and two pretty solid training days, they deserve that first day off and uh, they'll rest and recover and then roll into a, a, a pretty heavy running and weight session on the, the day after.